Are you a small business owner who feels frustrated? You're not alone. A lot of small businesses struggle with communication and it can lead to a lot of problems. But don't worry, there are a few things you can do to step up communication in your small business. Let's discover them together right after this. Many small businesses struggle with communication between employees and management or customers in the company. Unfortunately, poor communication can lead to many problems in a small business, from misunderstandings to lost customers. Luckily, there are a few things you can do to step up communication in your small business. Some tips include creating a clear vision and mission statement that everyone can get behind, encouraging questions and concerns from employees and customers, using different forms of communication, reinforcing company values in all communication, responding to inquiries promptly, and celebrating successes together. Before we get into the details, let me introduce myself. My name is Doug Barrett, and I'm passionate about the success of small local businesses. Small local business is the backbone of every community. They provide essential goods and services, support local charities, and create jobs. But running a small business is tough. It's a lot of work with long hours and little room for error. I'll share tips, tricks, and tactics from my experience as a small business owner and other experts in the field so if you're looking for ways to grow your small business, you've come to the right place. So let's get started. First, have a company vision and mission statement. Many small businesses struggle with communication between employees and management or customers in the company. Poor communication can lead to many problems in a small business from misunderstandings to lost customers. This is where having a clear vision and mission statement can help. When everyone in the company is on the same page, it makes it easier for everyone to communicate effectively. The vision and mission statement should be something that everyone can get behind and reflects the company's values. Ask yourself what your company is about to create a powerful vision and mission statement. What are your core values? What do you want to achieve? Once you have a clear idea of your company's purpose, you can start crafting a vision and mission statement that everyone can get behind. Second, encourage questions or concerns from employees and customers. One way to encourage communication is to ensure employees and customers feel comfortable asking questions or raising concerns. This shows that you want to hear what they have to say and that you're open to feedback. It also helps build trust between the company and its stakeholders. Employees or customers feeling like they can't speak up can lead to frustration and resentment. Small businesses need to create a culture of communication where everyone feels comfortable speaking up. This can help prevent misunderstandings and ensure everyone is on the same page. In addition, by encouraging questions and concerns from employees and customers, you're setting the tone for an open, transparent relationship with them. Third, all communication is clear and concise. Another key to clear communications are clear and concise. This means avoiding jargon or complex terms and using simple language everyone can understand. It also means getting straight to the point without any unnecessary details. This can be difficult when you're trying to communicate a lot of information. Still, it's important to remember that not everyone will be familiar with all the details of your business. When in doubt, err on the side of simplicity. Fourth, use different forms of communication. There are many different ways to communicate, each with its strengths and weaknesses. Therefore, it's essential to choose a suitable form of communication for the situation. For example, email is great for sending information or updates, but it's not very good for back and forth conversations. A face-to-face -face meeting might be better for that. Some other forms of communication include telephone calls, video conferencing, social media, newsletters, blog posts. Always remember, if you want to really be in communication, a person-to-person -person conversation is best. 
video is better than just audio, and text is the worst. That isn't to say don't use text. Just know that it's easier to be misunderstood in text. Fifth, reinforce company values in all communication. Your company's values need to be infused in all of your communications. So when you speak your, to your customers, the language you use on your website has to include your values. This helps reinforce what your company is about and what it stands for. It also helps build trust with employees, customers, and other stakeholders. Make sure to reflect your company's values in everything you do, from how you answer the phone to how you respond to customer inquiries. Living your values will help build trust and credibility with everyone who comes into contact with your business. Six, respond to inquiries promptly. When someone has a question or concern, it's essential to respond promptly. This shows that you're attentive and that you care about their problems. It also helps build trust between the company and customers, employees, and stakeholders. Put a system in place to ensure that you quickly follow up on all inquiries, customer issues, and team member concerns. This way, everyone will know that you are taking their concerns seriously and they can expect a timely response. Seventh, celebrate successes together. Last but not least, don't forget to celebrate your successes together. Communication isn't just about sharing information or solving problems. It's also about building relationships. By taking the time to celebrate your accomplishments, you're showing your employees, customers, and other stakeholders that you value their contribution. This helps build loyalty and strengthens the relationship between the company and its stakeholders. So when something goes right, take the time to share the news and celebrate together. This will help build a strong sense of community and ensure everyone feels like they're part of something bigger. Successful businesses know the importance of communication and work hard to create a culture where everyone feels comfortable speaking up. Following these tips, you can improve communication in your small business and create a more open, transparent culture. This will help you build trust with employees and customers and achieve your goals for growth. Do you have any tips to add? Please share them in the comments below. Let's all help each other build successful small businesses. Would you like to learn more about the benefits of customer retention and communication and other topics regarding business success? Yes? Great. Then there are a few things that you need to do right now. First, like this video so I know that you got value and I'll make more videos like this one. Second, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video so that you don't miss a single piece of the valuable information we share. And last, click the link in the description to register for the next live web class we hold on Thursdays and unearth the secrets to scaling your business. This is a tremendous opportunity to go even deeper into these ideas. You can also register by going to www dot business success dot group forward slash scaling live. That's www dot business success dot group forward slash scaling live. I'm Doug Barra and I'm passionate about small businesses succeeding. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next video.